Hello everybody and welcome back to the Money Pit Homestead. Uh, I'm Donald if you're new to the channel and uh, if you're not I'm still Donald <laughs> because uh, anyway here we are. Uh, today's a very bitter cold it's down in the 30s here in Kentucky. Uh, I've got to I've been feeding some uh, hay to the uh, sheep uh, square bells but I'm getting a little low on that so I'm gonna do something I didn't really want to do I don't want to take the tractor because I don't want to go down there it's been raining and even though it's cold and the fields not uh, where I've got the uh, trailer park it's not froze and uh, so I'm gonna take the tractor hook up the spear and uh, to the hay spear and uh, go down the road to a neighbor's house and uh, get some hay that I bought and uh, a round bale and put it in there for the sheep and that way it'll kind of uh, I don't have to feed them uh, my square bells and finish them off and I'll have them when I need them. Uh, we'll probably give an update on the puppies a little later, but uh, right now we're uh, going to do all that. I'm letting the tractor warm up and putting some fuel in it. So I'm going to let the tractor warm up a little bit and then we'll change the from the forks over to the, uh, from the pallet forks to the hay fork. <laughs> and, uh, see what we can't do like I said really wouldn't want to take this thing on the road but uh, I'm gonna do it this morning or, uh, you know we'll see what happens so it's a few miles down the road so y'all stick with me and we'll see if we can get this hay here in a minute well I dropped the forks off down there at the bottom probably should have showed that and then I picked up the uh, the hay fork I need to get better at that <laughs> but uh, we're uh, in high gear low, getting ready to pull out on the road. I know everybody knows what a tractor looks like going down the road, so I probably won't show much of that. Uh, but anyway, I may show us picking up the hay and coming back, whatever. But anyway, uh, y'all keep coming along, and uh, we're going to go see if we can pick up some hay. So keep coming. Well, I'm down here where they get the hay, where I get hay at, but I don't have permission to show their place yet, so I'm not going to show it yet. So, anyway, we're going to go back here, a ways behind the house and all that, and get some hay, and uh, pay the man, and then uh, we'll head back. So, until we head back, keep following. Well, we got us a good bale of hay. Uh, hopefully, the sheep love it. And we're headed back to the house right now. And uh, the, uh, we'll be back on the road in a minute. But anyway, just wanted to let y'all know, we're still here, still safe. <laughs> and uh, well, we're going back to the house, so keep going. Well, we had a bit of delay on what we was doing. I was trying to fly, fly, fly. I was trying to fly the drone in follow me mode. I launched it from the house and it wouldn't follow me. So I fooled around with it, fooled around with it. Finally got it down here where I was, because I'm down back down here now where I was at that moment. And um, well I'll probably put that footage in anyway, even though it's not very good. I'll see what happens. If I don't put it in there. They're really nothing to see. Anyway, one thing leads to another, and I had to go find the drone. <laughs> uh, it crashed itself. So now I will need to buy new impellers, propellers, because when it came down through the trees, uh, for whatever reason, it decided to uh, land itself in the middle of the trees. It came down through them. Uh, the propellers broke, not off, but they had little chunks on them. And, uh, well, 
one thing leads to that. Oh yeah, I'd also brought my, my little cages that I had on them uh, to protect it. So thank God it had them on there because when it came down through the uh, tree, I sit there and watched it fall through the tree and uh, well, it wasn't pretty. Anyway. <laughs> Sad thing is, now I gotta buy new pellers and new cages. All that plastic stuff, you know, and decided to let it go. So I think you're all crooked. Anyway, I'm gonna turn you around here in a minute and I'm gonna raise this up, dump it over the fence for the uh, sheep. And uh, this will be the first bale I've ever done with this uh, big tractor. And the uh, Mahindra 6075 BST. And, uh, yeah. We'll uh, see what you. Well, I tell you what. I've been out and about in the winter time a lot of times, but I've never been this warm. This cab, I don't even have the heat on right now, and uh, wow, it is. Uh, yeah, the heat's off, and uh, yeah, it's very warm. I had the heat on. I finally had to take my other uh, sweatshirt off and uh, all that, and uh, man, it's warm in this thing. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to turn you around and uh, sit there and sit there. We'll dump this uh, bell and then we'll figure out something else to do. Well, we're going to feed. And uh, like I said, we dropped that barrel off. Oh, yeah. The uh, thing I was going to tell you while ago is that I, on my controls on the drone, it had followed me. So I thought it would follow me because that was highlighted. I need to do some more research, I guess. Because <laughs> it didn't follow me. But, like I said, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the footage if I put it in. And, uh, well, if I didn't, there really wasn't nothing there. So it was just, I went straight up in the air at the house. And uh, I uh, uh, drove down the driveway with the tractor. And the control, I mean, everything was there with me, so it should have followed me, I thought. Nothing. It didn't follow me at all. So, not really sure about that. Not sure what happened. But then I uh, tried to fly it, and for whatever reason, the closer it came to me, it said maximum distance reached. That's another thing I don't understand, because I'm like a couple hundred feet away from me, but it was hovering right over top of me. So again, don't understand that. Uh, so maximum height is only 90 some feet. When the other day I flew it 400 some feet and up in the air, straight up in the air for, you know, and then now nothing, it 60, 90 some feet's all it would go. But anyway, I'm gonna have to get some different propellers and all that stuff for it and do some reading on, the, uh, on it. And um, hopefully I learned something. Right now, I've got to put all this feed. I got a couple bags of dog food, some chicken feed, and stuff, and go uh, sheep feed to put in the barn. And uh, but right now, we're gonna say hi to Eve and Adam. Probably not the sheep because they usually run away. And uh, here lately, I'm surprised that uh, Eve even come up here because she's been hovering around with the uh, the goats I mean the sheep. I don't know why I keep saying goats, but we used to have a bunch. But uh, hopefully we'll get some more here for sometime, maybe this this year. But I'm going to be a little bit more prepared for them with some better fencing and everything before I even think about doing that. Part of being a homesteader is uh, doing things the smart way, shall we say, hopefully. Anyway, here is uh, Adam. He's saying, hey, I want some food. I'm hungry. No, he really just wants to be petted. There's Eve, she wants the same thing. But like I said, right now, oh, well, look at that. The sheep are kind of close. One of these days I'm gonna clean this mess up. But there they go. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. They was gonna leave. So anyway, you'd think after all the feeding I do and stuff like that, huh? That they would get used to me. They've gotten used to you because they like hanging around you. Well, all right. Well, we're going to go in here and check on Faith and uh, the, uh, see what happens. Turn all the lights on and, and uh, 
see if we can get an update on the puppies. Yeah. Well, evidently the puppies are getting big enough or Faith is getting big enough that she has decided to get the puppies out. What you doing, huh? What you doing? Hold on, you gotta back up from the camera. Look at all the puppies. Look. Wait a minute, hold on now. Mama, we gotta <laughs> Okay, we'll pet you too. Look at the puppies. Yep. Now stop. Look at the puppies. I looked at them last night and without just trying to disturb them too much. They, uh, I think two of them are male and two of them female. Ain't that right, huh, Mom? Hi, huh, Mama? Well, like I said, I'm going to get some feed, feed these puppies, and see if we can't uh, uh, move on with our day. Well, the light's not too good in here, but... Where the puppy's been laying the last couple days when I come in. They're trying to get all huddled up and warm. But for the last few days, hi. What's Faith doing? Yes. Faith's got food, water, a new bed of uh, stuff that she can lay on out here. The puppy's got a little bit out there. I covered up all of this in here with some new bed of straw. Got another little bit of straw over here. And uh, everybody's fed. So we're going to go out here and craziest thing was, was a while ago, I uh, wanted to, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, just cold air. Anyway, I was wanting to uh, film these two big choppers coming over and they were thumping from a long ways ago. So I got out there and got ready for when they come over with my iPhone. I was going to make a short and uh <laughs> One thing led to another, and guess what? <laughs> I'm sitting there talking, filming, so I thought I <laughs> left it in photo mode and not video mode, and I never turned it on. <laughs> uh, so I filmed them going, they passed right over top of me and flew out of sight, and that's when I noticed I had not done any filming. <laughs> well, the uh for whatever reason the sheep finally staged herself up here but since i came back in the barn and uh finished a few things they've decided to hover over there what they don't realize though that new bell of hay sitting over there and the chickens are in there eating their the grain i put in there for them and they missing out <laughs> not my fault let these chickens free range a little extra this year and barn, do the barn. It's probably going to be the last time I do that. They are making a mess. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I turned y'all around and whew, even got closer. <laughs> I do that a lot anymore, don't I? Y'all don't need to see me that close. Anyway, got uh, four bags of feed in the barn for the dogs and uh, six bags for the... Uh, them I thought I just had four but I got six for them so uh, big bale of hay over there so I don't have to worry about putting that tossing out any square bells anymore and uh, well this has been a long day shall we say because although I didn't mean to I uh, <laughs> wrecked the drone and <laughs> had to find it and that took a lot of my dime so we've checked the spring uh, everything's flowing down there. Yes, it's cold here. The chickens have been fed. The sheep have been fed. The big bell's been gotten. The dogs over here have been fed. And, uh, yep, they like being f over there. The sheep are trying to snake around me, as you can see, because now, for whatever reason, if it ever focuses, yeah, they're, it's a little better. They're over here now, instead of where they was over here a minute ago. And they're trying to slip around. So, <laughs> I'm going to leave them alone. And uh, I forgot to turn the light off in the barn. So I'm going to go in there and turn the light off in the barn. And we'll take the tractor to the, 
to the other barn. Be back in a minute. Well, here we are at the end of this. And uh, hopefully y'all stuck with me this long. We got a uh, lot of feed moved today. Not a lot, but we got some. Uh, we filled up the cans down there anyway. We got uh, the spring checked. We checked on, we moved some stuff. Went down the road, got a bell of hay, got a, a round bell of hay in there with the sheep. Uh, put some more bedding down for uh, Faith and her puppies. Uh, well, seemed like we got a lot done. Moved a lot of wood. Uh, filled the wood back up in the house, but uh, don't need to move an IBC tote yet. Uh, maybe tomorrow, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, I watched the uh, video. I'm going to put it on here at the end, and if you want to watch it, watch it, and if you don't, well, I guess jump off. But uh, anyway, we, uh, I'll fast forward it and stuff like that. It's kind of cool until it crashes, <laughs> and then it kind of, you know, so I'll uh, put some music and some speed with it on the end, and uh Man, I don't know. I guess hopefully it'll still fly when I get some new uh, uh, propellers for it. I couldn't think of a propeller. <laughs> anyway, like I said, we're going to end this video here and uh, with me and talking and stuff. And we'll put the, uh, the crashing drone video uh, up in a minute and uh, see what we get. So if y'all like crashing drones you'll stick to it but anyway if not well hopefully you enjoyed the, what what i did do on this video so until later until the next time we'll see you later may god bless your days the way he always does ours and uh may it warm up sometime i'm sure it will because he'll warm it up sooner or later until then we'll see you later <laughs>